This week, baby is the size of a sweet potato. Welcome to Pregnancy Week 18. Hi everyone, I am 18 weeks pregnant. Cannot believe it. I am just like thinking that I go to sleep and I wake up the next morning and I'm already another week pregnant and I have spent the last few days, especially over Christmas and New, and Christmas and New Year's, thinking, gosh, this pregnancy has gone so fast. It has gone unbelievably fast. I don't recall getting to like halfway with Roman's pregnancy this fast. That's probably because I was living in the middle of nowhere by myself a lot. This time around, I've got Roman, I've got my flatmate, Martin comes, uh, sorry, Martin only works five days a week now, although he does milk occasionally, but um, it's just going incredibly fast and I'm kind of feeling that slight panic of, oh my gosh, I'm not ready, I haven't done anything, I've still yet to find out the gender. Wow, it's just, oh, I don't know, I'm just starting to come to terms with the fact that this is really happening, you know, like... I'm nearly halfway pregnant. It's just, <laughs> I'll be even more excited next week and the week after that I'm just gonna be like, oh my gosh, I know the gender and I've got so, so much to do. But you know, as soon as I find out the gender, things are just gonna fall into place, you know? Like I'm gonna be able to start doing the nursery, well actually I won't be able to start doing the nursery till the 16th of February. I know that's an exact date, but it's because um, my, flatmate, my flatmate is currently in the baby's room, um, which you will see in my house tour, which I finally did. I did it on a whim. Um, you know, it's not amazing because I just had to get it done. I had to. And my house was reasonably clean. I was just like, right, I've got to do it today. So anyway, my flatmate's in the baby's room. So she moves out on the 16th of February because she gets married and is moving to the South Island with her hubby. Um, so I'll be able to do the nursery and I'll be able to do names. Although if the gender is a girl, if the gender is a girl, if the baby is a girl, um, we've already got a name picked out. If it's a boy, still do not have a name. If this baby is a boy, it is probably going to be one of those kids who's like a month old and still does not have a name. I hope not, but I don't know. That just might be how it, that might might be just how it is. Anyway, you're probably wondering why I'm flinging a sweet potato around, as you saw in the start of the video. This is the size of baby. Slightly, I think, maybe take that much off and that's the size of baby. It was just slightly too big, this one, but that's pretty crazy. Okay, so symptoms this week. Christmas Day, I experienced my very first Braxton hack. I don't know what that sound was. I experienced my first, very first Braxton hack. It was one. The rest of the day, I got none. Here I am a week later and none. <laughs> How do I know it was a Braxton hack? Well, what happened was, my hair, just, I notice that that's the only thing about seeing yourself in the camera is you're like, that's... That's a random long bit of hair compared to the rest. I have to cut it. Anyway, so I was in the kitchen and I was talking to Stacy, who is Roman's godmother, and my stomach just went really tight, really, really tight. And I was holding it, like I was pushing down on it, like going, oh my gosh, my stomach is so tight. Like it feels almost like the baby's back was pushing out. But obviously the baby's too small right now to do that. But it was just so tight. And then it just went away. And I was like, wow, I think I just experienced my first Braxton hit. It was not painful. It was just kind of like, it wasn't even really uncomfortable. It was slightly uncomfortable because my stomach was like tensing really hard. But um, it didn't hurt at all. So I'm pretty sure I experienced my first proper Braxton hicks. You know, like I was having that cramping in my back. I have not had that since I said I had that symptom. Maybe that was... Braxton, Braxton Hicks or maybe I just had cramping you know growing uterus and stuff like that I don't know but that was pretty cool and I was pretty excited um, but I haven't had any since then so just a little update as to what we have been doing because that's my only symptom <laughs> this pregnancy's been a bit symptom free the past few weeks which I'm not complaining about that's awesome um, we um, 
filmed Christmas Day so that video if you missed it is in the link uh, in the description box below so you can just see what we kind of did Christmas Day it's not a really long boring video I put it to some music it's like snippets and just something kind of fun so that you don't have to sit through a, a hugely boring video um, so I did that um, I did my house tour I filmed our camping experience with a two-year-old yeah that was for New Year's. Unfortunately, New Year's didn't go too great for Martin and I. Um, we had fish and chips on the lake. It was sunset. It was gorgeous. And I think the fish and chips did not agree with both Martin and I because we ended up back at our campsite thinking, oh my gosh, we're going to throw up. I honestly thought that I had like gotten poisoned. Um, I was like to Martin, does Talbo have a hospital? Please tell me Talbo has a hospital. I cannot remember what I was just saying. Oh, camping. That's right. I honestly thought that I had gotten food poisoning and I was freaking out thinking, oh my goodness, is, is the baby okay? Am I okay? I was just so sick and um, Martin and I just ended up laying in our tent. Roman was finally asleep. Um, we heard the fireworks going off and I prodded Martin awake saying, Happy New Year. <laughs> He's like, Happy New Year. And I was pretty much the same. So we didn't really like, I mean, we're not the boozy types anyway. I haven't, I'm not, I don't drink alcohol at all really, even prior to being pregnant. And Martin only had alcohol like at like special events, like weddings and things like that. So we're not boozers anyway. We don't stay up and drink the night away and stuff like that. So it didn't actually really worry me that we went to sleep, you know, exactly 30 seconds after midnight. Didn't worry me at all. While we were camping too, I got sunburnt. I don't know if you can tell without showing the world too much. That's my sunburn. I got a little bit on my arms, but that's the worst of it. Um, Cause I just completely forgot that when you're pregnant, you just burn more easily. I burn really easily because I'm fair skinned. I'm just so white and it doesn't take me long to burn at all. So I covered myself in sunblock I covered this area in sunblock and I still managed to get burnt. We absolutely smothered Roman in sunblock and he's got tanned arms and the rest of him is just pretty normal. So um, I'm glad that I kept reapplying the sunblock for him because I'd feel like a terrible parent if I let him get sunburnt. So our scan, which is going to be our anatomy scan, is just seven days away. I am so excited and if you can count that means that I am late for this pregnancy vlog so I'm very sorry about that um, but you know busy times whatever and that means that our gender reveal party is only nine days I have to count it's only nine days away and I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited I'm so excited I cannot wait to see what this baby boy or girl is I just oh my it's just going to make it seem like it's a real person. Is it a baby boy with like sandy blonde hair and big blue eyes and a cheeky grin like Roman? Or is it going to be a little girl with long curls? Um, I really hope whichever gender we get, um, they're going to get Martin's hair because I, I honestly thought Roman would get Martin's hair and he didn't. He got straight hair and Martin's hair, if you know my husband or have seen him in the vlogs, he does not have straight hair. He has full on curls. So I'm really hoping this next baby has full on curls as well. I'll probably regret it if it's a little girl and she's got like long tangled hair. But um, so I'm really excited that it's not very far away. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you back here that I've brought for the party. Um, I have got nothing else to show you. So I'm just gonna show you that instead of my baby buys. Um, I would just like to also let you guys know that some people thought that they saw a gender reveal in my Christmas video, um, the one that's linked below. I just want to say, although there is a pair of booties there that are the color blue, um, there are another pair of booties right behind it that are pink. Um, the gift was actually from Martin's godparents, who are my best friends. Um, they had brought the Christmas present before we had maybe found out the gender. So um, the present they gave us was actually a onesie, which was black and white. I think it was... It was like two onesies. One of them was long sleeve and one was short sleeve. They were completely gender neutral colours. And then they brought us two pairs of really, really stunningly cute 
booties um one blue and one pink so um obviously the pink one was just not in sight in that shot but i assure you i will insert a photo right here that there were two pairs so um you will find out the gender for certain and maybe pink the one that was hiding or i may just be trying to get you off my trail and maybe it is blue <laughs> i'm not gonna tell you so as usual, go to expectnet.com. I see there's quite a few guesses there. Um, obviously, after next week, um, the gender will be revealed. So a lot of people, if they're guessing after that, are going to get that part right. But, you know, I can't help that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but there are a lot of other things that you can get wrong or get right. So go to the expectnet.com and put in Baba Lucky and that will bring up our game and um, put in your guesses for this baby. Um, other than that, all I've got to do now is my belly shot, so I'm just going to get into all the stuff back here to show you. So all the things I'm going to show you right now are from a store called Uncle Bill's. I love Uncle Bill's. It's like a variety store that has a whole bunch of stuff for really cheap. Like, it's probably all imported from Hong Kong or something, but I don't care. It's cheap. It's awesome. Um, most of the stuff that I got for this um, party was not available when I was having Roman. Oh, excuse me. Otherwise, I, I would have brought it for Roman's baby shower. So I cannot wait till this baby's baby shower. So anyway, so for our gender reveal party, we're going to go for the basic blue and pink. Um, um, these are cupcake holders. So we've got a blue and a pink um, cupcake holder. I'm going to ask Stacey. She doesn't know it yet, but she's going to make me cupcakes to go with it to go on these just like a vanilla and then I'm going to do like a blue and a pink icing on those um I love these I absolutely love these these are paper straws oh jeepers I'm just gonna hit myself um we've got again polka dot pink polka dot blue so that's really cute we've got oh this is what really frustrated me they had polka dot pink they did not have polka dot blue they had polka dot purple why can't they match things seriously so I had to compromise and get striped blue and striped pink paper cups so I've these come in a pack of 25 each I mean I think we've only invited like 20 30 people to this gender reveal so um, that's gonna be absolutely plenty um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a trestle table and we're gonna do the half and half so one half of the table is gonna have a blue um, Tablecloth, I love these tablecloths. Um, we've got, oh, got these bags here, again, pink and blue polka dot. They turn into like a, um, like those popcorn boxings. Huh, there we go. So that size wants the things down. So. What I'm planning on doing with these is putting in, using them for um, candy floss, blue and pink candy floss, as well as blue and pink popcorn. So I thought that'd be really cute. So I got, again, blue and pink ones of those. And can I just say, all of these things, literally none of them cost me more than like $3. My dogs have just got to get attention in these videos all the time. Um, uh, napkins, pink and blue, striped again because I couldn't find polka dot ones. And the only thing that annoys me about this is this blue is not the same blue as everything else. It's a darker blue. Um, we got, but we've got blue and pink. They're actually cake boards, but, um, I'm going to actually use them as like a serving platter. Um, there's two in each of these and they were only like $2.50 each as well. So that was awesome. So that's all the stuff I've got so far. I've still got to get um, juice, like the glass, they're about this big, metal on the top, and then they've got a pouring thing. They look really cool and kind of vintage-y, so I need to get two of those because I'm going to have pink and blue lemonade in them, just something funky. I've still got to get pink balloons, blue balloons. I've still got to get um, pink streamers, blue streamers. I forgot to show you guys these as well. Um, the reason I'm on a funny angle is so I don't show you all the other items in my wardrobe. But um, so we got three pom poms. They come flat, and you've got to fluff them up yourself. So these are the three pom poms for our gender reveal party. 
and then food um, I haven't really thought yet um, apart from the cupcakes so if you've got ideas on what food should be served at a gender reveal party then please give me your ideas um, the only other thing I've got to show you is here are the first items I have brought for our gender reveal video um, I couldn't find anything that I needed for the boy part so I'm still in search of those but here's the girl part anyway um, so you'll just have to wait and see what <laughs> we're doing for that video so just because I've got girl stuff doesn't mean that we're necessarily having a girl it just means that I couldn't actually find what I needed for the boy today but I will get there so um, that's pretty much it for my 18 week pregnancy vlog oh my gosh 18 weeks that just rocks I'm so happy to get this far so happy that I'm having a baby oh my goodness what did my mother-in-law bring so my son is back so this is time for me to go um my mother-in-law has Rowan's pran stacked full of something i'm not sure what it is looks like it might be for the baby actually baby stuff all right you guys this is time for me to go over and out bye